President Obama made an in-person appeal to House Republicans to vote for his economic stimulus plan, but it didn't work. Not a single Republican joined the majority Democrats tonight as the House passed the more than $800 billion package. The final tally, 244 yeas and 188 nays. Twelve Democrats also voted no. Chip Reed is our chief White House correspondent. And Chip, the president gets a victory, but not the bipartisan one he had hoped for. That's right, Katie. The White House says this is a victory for the president, but certainly there is also some disappointment that he worked so hard to get bipartisan support and couldn't get a single Republican vote. As the House of Representatives prepared to vote on the economic stimulus bill today, President Obama made one last plea for bold action on behalf of American workers. The workers who are returning home to tell their husbands and wives and children that they no longer have a job. And all those who live in fear that their job will be next on the cutting blocks, they need help now. House Democrats voted overwhelmingly for the bill, which they say will create three to four million jobs. Every week that we delay is another 100,000 or more people unemployed. But Republicans relentlessly attacked the bill, despite the president's extraordinary efforts to get bipartisan support. It's merely a wish list of long-standing liberal Democrat priorities that have little to do with putting our economy back on its feet. Some examples, they say, a billion dollars for Amtrak, 41 billion for local school districts, 127 billion for health care for the poor and unemployed. Spending. Just plain old spending. Earlier, the president met with a group of CEOs who told him the bill will create jobs, lots of them. Around the table, longtime pillars of the economy whose workforces are now taking it on the chin. IBM, 2,800 layoffs, Xerox, 3,000, Motorola, 6,100, and Corning, 3,500 layoffs announced just yesterday. It needs to get done fast. Thank God you are not a timid man. <laughs> Now, White House officials say this is just the beginning. Next week, the bill goes to the Senate, and the president is going to work very hard, they say, to get Republican support. As White House Press Secretary Robert Gibbs put it today, they're in the third inning of a nine-inning game, and a lot can change. Katie? And, and Chip, as you mentioned, I mean, the president went up to the Hill to personally appeal to Republicans already, so what more can he do? Well, he can do a couple of things, Katie. Number one, they can make more changes in the bill, and they are prepared to do that. And number two, they are going to continue with this charm offensive, essentially. They're going to have a cocktail party here tonight. Eleven Republicans, eleven Democrats. That's part of the new bipartisan way of looking at Congress, Katie. All right. Chip Reed at the White House tonight. Thank you, Chip.